Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Summer here to talk about lesson 502, Boyle's Law. In this lesson, students will be able to explain conceptually the relationship between pressure and volume. Describe mathematically what happens to the pressure or volume when the other is changed. So, Boyle's Law formula. This is something you um, need to really understand. It is equation is P1 or P initial times your V initial equals your P final times your V final. That is, so P initial is your initial pressure, the pressure that you start with. V initial is your initial volume. P final is your final pressure and V final is your vi final volume. In this unit, we're, or in this course, we're going to use ATM or atmosphere as our unit for pressure and so there are a ton of more units for pressure and volume but we're only going to be asking you to use those we won't have you converting between different forms of pressure different forms of volume and stuff so what does this equation mean what does it look like if you look at this picture you have a pressure the pressure is up here is high as you decrease the pressure the volume of the suit increases. So another way is if we have a syringe and you are plunging down the syringe, if you increase pressure, so you're increasing the pressure, the thing goes, the um, whatever's inside it, the stopper inside of it goes down and you've decreased the volume. Oops, volume. So what exactly is Boyle's Law described? It states that the pressure of a system is inversely proportional to the volume. In other words, so that's a whole lot of math and science speak, if you increase the pressure of a system, you decrease the volume of the same system. Increase P, decrease V. Or if you decrease the pressure of a system, you increase the volume of the same system. If we look at this GIF, so here's an example problem. It says, use Boyle's law to solve for the missing variable. A balloon is filled with 80 liters of air at 1.5 ATM pressure. What pressure is needed to change the volume to 40 liters? So what's really handy is drawing out a table, an initial change and final. Sometimes they're called ice tables or BCA before change after tables. They're really helpful in the next several units of being able to keep track of all of the numbers that you are getting. So my initial pressure was 1.5 ATM. My initial volume was 80 liters. So what happened? I increased my pressure, or I'm sorry, I decreased my volume. So by decreasing my volume, because I went to 40 liters, I know that I have to increase my pressure some amount. So what did I decrease my volume by? I decreased my volume, I'm sorry, my volume was divided by two. So the pressure must have been multiplied by two. So the final pressure would be three ATM. Another way for those of you who do like doing formulas, I have P1, P1, P I, V I equals P2 or P F, V F. So my pressure initial was 1.5. My V initial was 80 is equal to my X, because I don't know what my final pressure is, times 40. So you can solve this and divide and you'll end up still getting 3 ATM as your final pressure. Here's another example. A gas occupies 25 liters when a barometer reads 9 ATM. How many liters will it occupy when the barometer reads 3 ATM? So here, I know that my initial pressure was 9, because that was my initial, and my initial volume was 25. And then I went from 9 ATM to my final ATM being 3. What did I do to go from 9 to 3? It was a change. I divided 9 by 3. 
to get three ATM. So if I divided my pressure by three, I must have also multiplied my volume by the same amount. So the pressure was divided by three, so the volume must have been multiplied by three. The final volume would be 75 liters. For those of you math people, nine, eight times 25 is equal to three times X. And you multiply those two, divide by three, and you get 75 as well. You try this example on Boyle's Law. Use Boyle's Law to solve the, for the missing variable. A balloon is filled with 99 liters of air at 1.5 ATM pressure. What pressure is needed to change the volume to 9 liters? In order to solve this, we need our table. My initial pressure was 1.5 ATM. My initial volume was 99 liters. My pressure increased because my fine, oh, sorry. I was not supposed to say that. My volume decreased by how much? I went to nine. So what is the relationship between 99 and nine? I must have divided by 11, which means if I'm dividing my volume by 11, I multiplied my volume by 11. So 1.5 times 11 is 16.5. So the volume was divided by 11, which means the pressure must have been multiplied by 11. The pressure needed is 16.5 ATM.